Today, I'm announcing a new executive order I just signed that significantly expands our authorities to target individuals, companies, financial institutions that finance and facilitate trade with North Korea. As I outlined at my address to the United Nations General Assembly, North Korea's nuclear weapons and missile development is a grave threat to peace and security in our world, and it is unacceptable that others financially support this criminal rogue regime. The brutal North Korean regime does not respect its own citizens or the sovereignty of other nations. Our new executive order will cut off sources of revenue that fund North Korea's efforts to develop the deadliest weapons known to humankind. The order enhances the Treasury Department's authorities to target any individual or entity that conducts significant trade in goods, services, or technology with North Korea. And I'm very proud to tell you that, as you may have just heard moments ago, China, their central bank, has told their other banks — that's a massive banking system — to immediately stop doing business with North Korea. It's just happened. It's just reported. In addition to everything else, what we will do is identify new industries, including textiles, fishing, information technology, and manufacturing that the Treasury Department can target with strong sanctions. And Secretary Mnuchin is representing the Treasury Department. He's here today. To prevent sanctions evasion, the order also includes measures designed to disrupt critical North Korean shipping and trade networks. For much too long, North Korea has been allowed to abuse the international financial system to facilitate funding for its nuclear weapons and missile programs. The United States has had representatives working on this problem for over 25 years. They have done nothing. That's why we're in the problem that we're in today, in addition to, frankly, other countries not doing what they should have done.